Chef Goose here, and today we're making an Oreo base balls. You're gonna start by getting out your Oreos, your Twizzlers, and your white almond bark, and your cream cheese. You're also going to need a large bowl to do some melting in and some mixing and a small plate, and then also a spoon. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the large bag that all of your ingredients came in, and you're gonna take your Oreos, and you're gonna transfer them into that big bag. Because the first thing we have to do is smash all of our Oreos up. So you're gonna get them in this big bag. They're easier to smash up that way. And then you're just gonna use your fingers to mash them all up. You can keep them as clumpy or as fine as you want to. I'm gonna try to smash mine up pretty good. Once you have your Oreos smashed, you're gonna open up the bag and you're gonna take your large bowl and pour all of those Oreos out into your bowl. There's gonna be a bunch of stuff stuck to the top, but we're gonna go in with a spoon or I have a little uh, cream cheese spread spreader here. I'm gonna scoop out all of that good stuff. Once you have all of your Oreos in there, you're gonna add your cream cheese. And you're gonna mix the Oreos all up with the cream cheese. smashed up we're gonna next make the balls uh, you might have noticed that I decided to switch back to the bag from the bowl and that was just because for me it was uh, easier to mix up in the bag and I preferred that if your parents happen to have a mixer you can ask them for help and see if they'll help you blend it um, and then once you have it all mixed up we're ready to shape the balls we're gonna empty the big bag into our bowl. Make sure you're getting all of the contents out of there. Don't wanna leave anything behind. Once you have them all emptied into your bowl, make sure you wash your hands before you do this, but you're gonna take small chunks of the dough and shape them into little tiny baseball shapes. baseball shape we're gonna put them into the refrigerator for 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that they hold together and while we're doing that we're going to melt down our almond bark when melting the almond bark you want to use a large microwave microwave safe bowl and you're gonna do 30 second intervals making sure that you take it out and stir it each time be very careful because the bowl can get pretty hot and once it gets to a nice creamy consistency with no clumps, uh, you know it's ready. 
uh, and then you're gonna set that out to cool for a little bit. You'll know when to take your Oreo balls out of the fridge when uh, they're nice and firm so that they're not super squishy and soft or else they'll fall apart when we go to coat them. So to coat them, you're gonna grab one of your Oreo balls, set it down into the almond bark. You're gonna use a spoon just to make sure it gets all nice and coated. Once you have all the sides covered, you're gonna drain off some of the excess like that. And then you're gonna set it on your paper plate to dry. And then you're gonna go into the next ball. baseballs covered you're gonna let them dry before our last step right after you finish covering your Oreo baseballs and almond bark you're going to take your Twizzler out of the bag and we're gonna make our laces so first thing you're gonna do is you're going to separate a couple of strips off of the Twizzler once you have a decent piece of Twizzler, you're gonna kind of use your hands to make sure you're getting the right distance. And we're gonna start to form the laces of our baseball, giving those a good press, making sure that they're sticking into the almond bark. If you wait too long, uh, they might not want to stick very well so it's really important to do this right after you get them covered because you can see on mine that <laughs> they're not wanting to stick the greatest but that's because i waited too long if they're not sticking very well you can dip a little bit of the edges into the almond bark that's uh not dried yet and that'll help them stick to your baseballs. And there you have it, Oreo baseballs. When I make snacks, I like to share with friends, and so I have my good friend, Miss Jelly, here to tell us how we did. All right, let's see. Thanks for joining us for making these Oreo baseballs and we'll see you next time.